and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Treasure Deep, our last deck today. We're going to be trying out a deep deck again. It's been a little while since we've played deep, and now the deep decks have this new card from our newest expansion, Lost Riches, four mana burst, draw a treasure. But if there aren't any treasures in your deck to draw, then instead create two treasures in your deck. Be interesting to try this one out. I don't know if it's, you know, really an upgrade or not, but, you know, that's what we got to do. We got to try it out, right? S same with, like, whenever Slaughter Docks, the landmark, came out. We were like, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty slow. You only toss one card a turn, and you got to take a turn off to play it. I don't know. Pretty slow. But it turned out to be a, a very good card in the deep decks, and so now we're going to try this with Lost Riches. Maybe it'll work out. Maybe it won't, but we're going to try We also got Sea Scarab, a cool little new sea monster being two mana and stuff. So we'll try that one out um, as well. As far as our top end, we gotta have we gotta have like a ruination in case they go real wide. We got a vengeance, got an atrocity that can finish games out, a couple of withering whales for some defense, one shipwreck order, be able to create some treasures also. And that's kind of it, you know, it's kind of normal, deep stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how this Lost Riches card does in a deep deck. So we're calling it Treasure Deep because of the Lost Riches. So here we go. Treasure Deep. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Okay, looks like a Nightfall deck. Only Nocturne. You'd think you'd want to play Diana. Or Aphelios. Either one. Vengeance is a little expensive. Kind of same with Shipwreck Order. We'll mulligan those seven mana cards. The one mana cards are like some of the best to have in the deep deck. Especially the, the unit. Jettison is good, but then the unit, uh, Dredge Dredgers. Yeah, Dredge Dredgers is usually, like, the very best card to see. Okay, so they're a Mistwraith deck with Nocturne. That makes sense. No, Ruination. Oh, that Ruination could be really valuable. That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Hmm. This is kind of the downfall of the Sea Monster Sea Scarab. Is... I don't know, I could just pass. This, the downfall of the Sea Monster Sea Scarab is that now Jaw Hunters makes the two drop. Which I guess I would rather make this 2-drop probably than the 8-mana one. The rot must be cut away. Lost Riches. Alright, so our Jaw Hunter is traded with... Uh, you know, 3-2 instead of a 2-2. Two -two. All right, so if I play Sea Scarab, I can cast Lost Riches also. Or I just play this Abyssal Eye. I kind of feel like I'm just supposed to play the Abyssal Eye. It's a 3-3, three, three, so it can block here some stuff. I assume that means Nocturne, but I guess it could mean Triple Evershade Stalker. Yeah. Just the safer play is getting rid of the Mist Wraith instead of getting rid of the Nocturne, because if they have a Vile Feast over there, which isn't... Or, you know, like a Vile Feast or a Pale Cascade, like either one, which isn't un unrealistic. then targeting the three health won't work. But 
Maokai looks like it's going to be gone. Still nine away from deep. And I would like to make this trade. Alright, that block makes my Withering Whale better. Still 8 away from deep. Okay. <laughs> Setting up Withering Whale. They were expecting the Withering Whale with me doing the one damage, the other thing before. Okay. So you can block there. About to be deep. You can so that blocks. This blocks. I guess really the only way to do this. me at the highest possible life total basically because I'm I'm three away from deep so like whenever this dies then then we're two away then this dies then we're one away then this dies then we're deep and then this will grow okay one no ooh Lysandra Trundle so, the Watcher versus Sea Monsters. We're definitely keeping the Slaughter Docks. That one's easy. I could see, like, the Atrocity late game finish being, like, really important. And, obviously, you know, you can see not... Like, I could see all... Like, all these are awesome to have in the late game, but they none of them, like, help out our early game of, like, tossing stuff. And what we want to be doing, what we want to be achieving. So, I'm going to mulligan all of them. But especially like the atrocity, I kind of want to keep it. Yeah, because like this is the kind of stuff that we want early. Like, right? We want to keep tossing everything. Hey, and then we get the atrocity anyway. So just uh, rewarded all the way around. And we want to toss like sea monsters. We want to draw more toss stuff. <laughs> wow, they're scared of my dredge dredgers. Attacking for an entire one point of damage. Alright, we want to get these. Like, the, the Wanderer is going to toss three either way. But the earlier you get these landmarks in, the more that they toss. Yeah, they, they just got, like, a bunch of removal. They don't get to use. So that's good. Yuck. That one's not a good card. Dad. 
Down a vengeance. Basically using that to just use my mana. Yeah, there we go. Turbo Deep, we got him. They just have, like, they're looking at all their avalanches and stuff, and... We're just going deep. That's why you played Slaughter Dock. Slaughter Docks can be awesome. Prediction started. Oh no! Zoe Ophelios. Oh no. Okay, well, this is, this is what our deck's trying to do. Let's keep it. I like the Vile Feast. Good against Zoe. They, of course, can have Zoe and Protection, which would be not cool. I guess I'll just pass. Because I don't want to do the Vile Feast first and then they play a second Zoe. Let it happen. Hooray! Not Protection. Good. Now let's get the slaughter docks going. I guess I should attack for one first. Well, um, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna end round. <laughs> just in case, I don't want to do the attack for one and then they start playing stuff the second, like right afterwards, like you know, second main phase. I don't want that to happen. They probably didn't have anything to play since they didn't, but it's just not worth the risk. Like it's just not worth it. Oh, what is that? I haven't seen this button before. Y'all seen this button? I haven't seen that button. Witness glory. All right, so thirteen away from deep. Yeah, so that Aphelios was in their, you know, that was in, the, like, their opening hand. So, like, maybe if I attack, give them the priority again, they play that Aphelios on turn three after combat. Because, yeah, that was that was in their hand, so they could have done that. But typical Zoe Aphelios player. Have turn one Zoe also had Aphelios they could have played on turn three, right? They had a, both the champions. But we got, we had a good hand. We have double Slaughter Docks doing its thing. Mm. I can't play either of you this turn. And I can't play you. I can't play any of these cards. Seven away from deep still. May all those who journey find what they seek. Ooh, you wee scrub. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't play that. Abyssal Eye is back. Yuck. Reconsider. What would you divine from my stars? Yours is the light that guides all It's all eight cards in hand. It's like they haven't even played anything yet this game. Well. 
All right, so I'm putting a couple treasures in the deck. Getting that cost reduction on the Nautilus isn't like that important. But I could, I could see like me going to cost reduction and them like obliterating. Hey, there we go. Thank you. Okay. Let's make three eight eight here sums. Hope they'll put in some work. Well, that takes out two of them. This is the wrong path. Exercise caution. I don't remember if I've tossed atrocity or not yet this game. I'm not sure. Alright, put two treasures into the deck. You have to like work so hard just to put like treasures into your deck and they're just like not even as good as just normal celestial cards you get for free. They just go to your hand. It's pretty gross. So they're not a... They're not an atrocity deck, so that's good. We're gonna be going to. We're obviously gonna open attack with Gravitum and all the stuff that they have. <laughs> How do I keep hitting sea scarabs? The worst possible card. Both of ours hit the worst possible card, Sea Scarab. Yeah, Terra the Tides would have been awesome. That give them all fearsome to minus three. Yeah, Terra the Tides would have won this game, but Sea Scarab. Gross. Uh, not the treasures we want either. Obviously, we want the we want the other the other treasure. I mean, Killbreaker can try to kill Immortal Fire, I guess, but it kills all my stuff. But we gotta do it to keep this Immortal Fire from killing me. All right, so we're gonna have nothing but champions in our deck. So we have two Nautilus, three Maokai. Wow, that's fair. That looks pretty fair. All right, so we have to draw Nautilus, obviously. So we have to draw Nautilus. Nautilus. Okay. We have a chance. And so they can't just go with another spell shield now. That's why I didn't want to pop the spell shield last turn, because then they could just put another spell shield on this. There we go. Okay. Steal alive. 
for a little bit. So if I go like this, they block here, gain two, and then take nine. But they sure they have Nexus healing and stuff. Is it worth playing Kiel Bossa Breaker first? You think the eight eight first? I guess because yeah, if they if they block the eight eight, I was thinking like they'll heal more by blocking the eight eight, but then we're gonna have thirteen coming in afterwards. So actually, yeah, this this does work out better. Um, yeah, so far, I mean, yeah, we're, we're basically trying Lost Riches for the first time. We've only played it one time this, you know, we played it this game. This is the first time that we've cast it. All right, so same thing. We got four cards. We got to draw Nautilus again. And this time we have to hope they don't have Bastion. Because they just had double star shaping, so that means they have another elusive celestial that's going to kill me unless we draw Nautilus. As they play it, it's got the spell shield, they got a keel breaker. Come on, Nautilus. Alright, we got a chance. So hopefully no Bastion. Wait, well if they if they spend all the mana on it, they won't have the mana for Bastion also. I think that's going to be a win for us. We top deck not we twice we had to top deck Nautilus and we did. I don't think they're going to stay alive through all this. Jackal cackle. Aslo! Getting that resub. Resub for the Clutch Nautilus. Alright, third sub of the day. So yeah, two for two. It was a 40% and a 50%, and we had to hit them both, and we did. We hit the 40%er and the 50%er. Oh no, Brom Vladimir. This deck is unbeatable. We are still winless against Braum Vladimir since the new update. We have not defeated this deck yet. It is unbeatable. Alright, so we got three early toss cards. Oh, wow, yeah, that's unbeatable. Go, Lamar, go. Go, Lamar, go. Bum, bum, bum. Go, Lamar, go. Go, Lamar, go. Go, Lamar. Go, Lamar. Go, Lamar, go. Go, Lamar, go. So if I pass, they pass. I lose out on. They lose out on five damage. I think I'm gonna save vengeance. If I play, if I play Maokai, they get the five damage in and they get a three-three. I just pass. I guess I, I could just play the Jettison. I should play the Jettison. But okay, they, they attack. The rock must be 
shut away. Love this ruination in this matchup. That's such a good card to draw. Yeah, so now finally, like, we would waste that mana if we don't play that card, so that's why I'm playing it now. So if they play Vladimir or a 6 drop, we Ruination. I mean, Scar Grounds is basically Vladimir or a 6 drop. Or I could play Devour. I could play Devour instead. I try to Devour, like, the Kindly Tavern Keeper. Hold on to this Ruination. That would toss two, so it would be one away, then this would toss the other one, and then we'd be deep, and then next turn we played Nautilus, but I'd still be holding on to this Ruination. Okay, so they, they do have a Crimson Curator card in hand. The Crimson Curator card? No, okay, so they have another card from Crimson Curator. So if I play Shipwreck Order, we go deep, because we toss two and then we put two treasures in. Yeah, I decided just to use. I would have preferred to hit. Uh, Vladimir or a 5-6 five, five, plus drop, you know, anything larger with the Ruination, but decided to use it, so we got rid of it before I started playing my larger units. So this is the card the Crimson Curator created before. Okay, so that has to be, what, Troll Chant? I think this is Troll Chant. What's up, Kill Breaker? Kill Breaker is good, but I don't get to play anything else with Kill Breaker, so I can only play one card this turn. Which, that's problematic. Only one card. I, I'm thinking it's Vengeance on this Tarkaz. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Vengeance over here. Yeah, three sisters is an option too. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So there's the troll champ. So I can go Nautilus and the 6 mana sea monster. Nautilus and Devourer. Um, I don't know. I just hate the I, uh, I hate the one two because I didn't want it to like them to do like that with the Brom kind of thing. You know, like how with Scar Grounds out, I didn't want to do like the whole like one damage. You know, or even like like Scar Mother Verena with like that that one damage thing, and then make it tough, and then make it you know huge, like that kind of stuff. I just 
I don't want to deal with that card. Yeah. I'll take this, so <clears throat> we're left with Nautilus in play. They're left with nothing but Vladimir. We have Nautilus, which is bigger than Vladimir, and then we have five cards in hand, so. We're looking good. And there we go. Opponent agrees. We are 4 and 0. Oh, are you kidding me? Deep. Getting it done. Treasure deep. All right, Misfortune Gangplank. All right, so we're definitely going to need early stuff against Misfortune Gangplank. So we're going to mulligan the 677. Seven. Look for 123. Okay, one, two, three, four. Not our best one drop, right? Because this one drop doesn't really affect anything. No one's the wiser. We wanted the other one drop, but still better looking than our opening hand. Lyle Feast is interesting. We don't we don't get to heal one from the Vile Feast, but we do. We don't take that too. And then we, they don't have that 2-1 still alive that was going to be able to attack and deal damage to me again anyway. Wow, this is not good for me. Oh, nice setup for them. So playing Slaughter Docks is my best play for like this turn, as far as like going deep. But we kind of need blockers. But then again, like if I just play Dredge Dredgers plus Sea Scarab this turn, then what are we playing for the Maokai? Like I guess we'll have to figure that out later. I guess we just got to figure that out later. Yeah. Ooh. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. Everywhere. Guns blaze. So that's two. All right, we gotta draw any unit that costs one, two, three, four, or five, so I can play it. Like that Deblin Wander would have been perfect, so I can play it, get the sapling, try to channel into this misfortune with the sapling. That's my plan. Deblin Wander. Or Jaw Hunters. Alright, that that'll play. Oh, Ruination. Why can't you show up, Ruination? All right, so we know that they have Noxion Fervor in hand, so they can Fervor away Misfortune if they want. Yep. Wait, that was the Fervor from, like, over here, right? Was that not even, like, the Fervor they grabbed? I need to pay closer attention, I think. I'm not sure if that was the Fervor they grabbed. Yeah, so I lose an extra life by waiting on Withering Whale, but if they have anything else with one health, it helps. Yeah, we started off strong. But their hand was awesome. Yeah, I don't... I don't how we win this. You defile the Can't make that block. Lock the doors. Why couldn't I have had you last turn, Deadloom Wanderer? Or any of these previous six turns? 
I've been a great blocker. And, you know, obviously, like, if I would have played Wanderer, we would have gotten the Sapling also. That would have been so much better to play than the Slaughter Docks. We would have saved 8 life and also healed 3, so we would have saved 11 life. We'd be at 15 if I would have just drew this the turn before. Just one turn earlier. I'm at 15. But we're dead. Still, in a, what a great showing, though, for Treasure Deep. Going four and one. All right, but there we go. So that's Treasure Deep. Pretty sweet. We didn't get to do too much cool stuff with Lost Riches, but it did really help the one game. Right, We had the one game where against the Aphelios deck where we got to put the two treasures into our deck, and those treasures were really important. One of them was the three eight eight Fearsomes, and that was important in closing out the game. So the you know the one time that we played it, but you know like if we would have played a matchup like that last one that we just played, we would not want Lost Riches at all, right? Like because it's too fast for Lost Riches. Sea Scarab was like hit or miss. It was it was you know it's definitely worth it being in here. Um, that would have been nice to be Thorny Toad like that last game because we could have had the uh, could have had it stay alive a little bit more, been able to heal our Nexus for two. Like that would have been really clutch, right? So that's that is giving up something not having that heal your Nexus for two kind of card um but yeah still it did great you know like four and one that's awesome so can't can't complain but there we go there's deep deep is back those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course as always leave those comments let me know what you think of the new cards what you think of sea scarab in this deck over thorny toad what you think of the lost riches if you play this deck yourself you know let me know because we only got to we didn't really get to play lost riches that much so let me know how lost riches goes for you or sea scarab or anything else uh love to hear about it all right but that's deep that's treasure deep um thank you so much for watching i can't ever say that enough Thank you very much, and I will see you for the next video.